Oh, Freddie, we're here. No, we're not in South Dakota yet. We're pigeon hunting. It's the first one of the season. Yo! Forgot to give you a good one of those. Uh, I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm starting my, what is today? Good Lord. Sunday or Monday? I don't know. Pretty sure it's, uh, gosh, what is today? Friday. Starting my Friday off really well. I thought it was a special day. But yeah, we're pigeon hunting. It's uh, Bradley and I. And just a little two-man deal. Uh, I'm not really, really sold that this pigeon hunt will be the best one ever, put it that way. But Brad's got his dog, Bear. I got my dog, Freddy Rico. And we're just gonna have a good little two-man hunt. Whatever we kill, we kill. I actually found this rather small pigeon feed over a week ago. And I just asked the farmer, I'm like, I don't know if they're still out there, but do you care if we just go try them? He's like, oh, go ahead, Bob. So, big shout out to the farmers for letting me hunt. I appreciate you. But this has been the case, all this right here, all the water that I wish I would have had back in the beginning of the season, all the sheet water you'd ever want, it's here. We've been getting a ton of rain. And here we are. We gotta finish sitting up. Lots of rain, really muddy. We got the A-frame. Are you ready to go? We're good to go. Oh, amigo. Oh, amigo. Let's try to smash them, baby. Two chairs, two guys, two dogs. Just a small, good old hunt. Here you go. Uh, let's kick this blind this way just a hair bit. Like, try to nudge it up against the grass a little bit. You ready? Yep. What the three. Ooh, one hand ain't the wonder. Okay, there you go. There we go. Oh, yeah. All righty, boys. I'm going to get sat down and I'll uh, pick back up the camera and show you the spread. Uh, <laughs> they just uh, dropped straight down. Uh, we got two mallards in the spread. They literally just came from the heavens. The elevator. Just the elevator. All two. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. There are. Good looking green head there. Wish I would have brought the big lens, darn it. I didn't think. It's a little dark, but yeah. That would have been perfect. They sat and hovered oh. there. Absolutely. And the sun's behind us today. That could have been pretty. Might be the new strat. Just the pigeon still is out. Yeah. Hey, is that hat ever going to be available? Uh, It was already. And we sold out? Yeah. Dad, go. Hopefully. Oh, there they go. There goes. Here comes some geese, too. Oh, here come geese. He's got a hurt wing on him. Two honk daddies. Huh? We'll get some waterfowl action this morning. If anything, we'll get a show. We already got yeah. a nice sunrise. A little bit of show to add to the pigeon hunt. Hopefully, we shoot a pigeon. If not, like Brad said, man, it's uh, the sunrise is beautiful enough to get out here and enjoy this and not sleep in. That's for dad gum sure. But y'all, uh, going to South Dakota uh, in two days. Me and old P Diddy. Uh, they're coming back. I don't think they'll decoy again like they did. Uh, with old P. Diddy up at Flatland Flyway and uh, snow goose hunting out of pit, pit blinds. Beautiful pit. We'll be cooking breakfast in the pit blinds. Literally, they have like a kitchen in there. Uh, huge floater spreads. Amazing. Uh, it'll be, it'll, it will in fact be my last waterfowl hunt of the season. Uh, all in all. So, maybe not. I might go up to... Uh, North Dakota with old Nate Dog. It'd be fun. That wouldn't be a can bad make, idea. Can make the dates work. It looks like they've been killing them already. Yeah, they I saw have. the other day they killed a band. Yeah, uh, I got a call from Alex Russo, the owner of Flatland. He's like, hey, Bob, you mind moving? Can you come a week earlier? And I'm like, heck yeah, I can. Why? He's like, birds are pushing pretty hard. I have a feeling by the time you get here, they're going to be blown be north. north. Yeah, they're blowing. The, the weather's not very cool up there. Pretty, pretty nice weather, so they're just pushing and pushing and pushing. But here we are, Frederick, ready to go. That's a good dog. He is ready to have some fun. Yep, we landed some honkers, Freddy. Right there. Four honkers landed so far, two mallards. There they go. They out of here. Go far to see if they had jewelry. Yeah, I couldn't tell if I seen any jewelry on them legs. Good, good call. Well, obviously, we're sitting center pivot, 
A-frame in front. For pigeons, it really don't matter. And I guess for late season honkers and mallards, it really don't matter because we landed six birds already and they're not pigeons. But here is, uh, here's a situation out yonder with the decoys. Uh, five dozen pigeon silhouettes. And then I only have, I would say roughly three to four dozen, three dozen of my full body pigeon decoys. Here she is, set her long and wide to get some attention. Two mojos in the middle. Actually, that's a lucky duck. And we got a dove mojo. Not too much, not too little, not too big, not too small. Uh, it should work if we actually see some pigeons. When I did see them in here uh, last week, it was like nine o'clock in the morning. So that's good news. It's only probably 7.55. So a little leisurely morning, man. I wish Frederick could go to South Dakota with me, darn it. But he's gonna stay at home and nap and chill with mama and them kids. Come on, good boy. Look at him, he's so excited to be here though. He's like, Dad, I have been waiting for you to get home from Disney World. Took the family to Disney World, they loved it. But old Frederick, he's been missing the blind. He's been missing the action. How long uh, has it been since Bear's been on a hunt? Since February, since later February. So Gosh. it's been almost two months. Man. Needless to say, he's a little bit antsy. Yeah, I, dude, it's gonna be a long summer. He gets cooped up, and it's just like a ticking time bomb full of energy. <laughs> Even with how old he is. He was like, in my he, truck. He finally gets out and just, <laughs> he needs to let a little bit out. He was in my truck, him and Frederick, and he was doing laps in the front and the back. I'm like, all right, we gotta get him out. He's gonna tear my camera up. He's just so wound up. These dogs love it so much. They love it just as much as we do. But I wanted to tell you before we crack the first shot off here, I'm giving away an Alaskan hunt for two of y'all at the podcast. All of my uh, Patreons, subscribers of the podcast, I will link it down at the top of the description as well in the comment section. Uh, two of y'all, two of two very lucky uh, people uh, will be able to go to Alaska with me September 18th through the 25th at Cold Bay Adventures with Charlie Somerville hunting Brant and Sea Ducks. Uh, that's one, and then we're giving away also a two-man hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways for this upcoming season. Better not miss out on that. Dude, that's unreal. It's gonna be hunt of a lifetime. Hunt of an absolute lifetime. Brant in Alaska for a week. It's a week that you're there, right? Seven days. Seven days of nothing but sitting on a rock. Watching birds and go some, by. And some seawater. Watching birds go by, waiting for the tide to go down so you can get the boat unbeached <laughs> and back to the dock. It'll be an experience. It'll be, yeah. it'll be one of those hunts that you talk about for the rest of your life. Absolutely. And someone's got to win it. It's no different than the shirt of the month. Giveaway. Exactly. Someone, someone has to win. So it yes. It's it. just like the shirt of the month uh, at Ducks, giving away Argos and boats. Here, I give away hunts. Fucking gonna give her a dad, give her up. Right over the top, maybe? Nope, they're gonna decoy. Here we go, first pitch of the day, boys. Here they go. Three, two, one, shoot them. It's my gun's jamming on. Jamming on me, darn it. Here they come back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here! Fred! Fred, here! Breaking dog, get ready. Come on. Got one. Here! Heel. Here they come. Sit. Sit. There we go. The bear got that bird, didn't he? There we go. First bird First of one. the day. Just a good old feral blue bar. I smoked him, dude. Yeah, you did. Bam! It goes back too cold off farther. That first one just kept hovering yeah. right over. You went, I seen you went far. I'm like, all right, I'll take the, I'll take the close one, baby. Well, if they come in two and three packs. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Yeah. Oh, we're on the board. Yeah, look at that, Frederick. Go get that bird. Get that bird. 
Get the bird. Fetch it up. Here. Hold. Hold. Come on. Got to do some conditioning here and get them freshened back up. There we are. Smash the thumbs up button. We're on the board, boys. Here, here he is coming. Is he going away still? Yeah, he's going away. He's oh, going I didn't away. see him coming. Here he's coming back. Get ready. Oh, come on, decoy, you pigeon. Come on. You can do it. Come on down, brother. We got a pigeon sitting on the pivot, just staring at us. Sit. 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 Well, he's just going to come closer. God dang. I am not a good shot today. Sit. Sit. Here. Yeah, I hit him for sure. He ain't feeling good. Here, Fred. Heal. 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 Sit. Heal. Heal. Come on, dude. Get out of here. He dead now. Good boy, here. Here, hold it. Heel, set. Drop. Woo! There we go, number two. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta walk them out. Walk them out, boys. Walk them out. Now one thing I will say, guys, when you're hunting around farmer's pivots, be careful, do not shoot them. Good, drop. Two on the board. Uh, like I said, gotta be careful around farmer's pivots. Do not shoot them. You will not be hunting with that farmer again, neither will anybody else. Okay. Set, stay. Got three out front. Are they gonna do it? Maybe. Um, I don't right. know. We'll get back to you on that. We'll Let's get see, back to you on that one, Bob. <laughs> not trying to. Uh, not trying to jinx it out here. Side right here. Getting close. Oh. See ya, honkers. I'm gonna get in here. On your side. with them and try to let them get down on them decoys. Come on, birdie birdies. Group of five out front. Fred, I want you to stay. Stay. <laughs> oh, the first shot. I hope I got that on shot cam. The first shot was real, really, really, really close. Missed him and got him when he was going away. <laughs> I was like, I missed, I was like, oh, and said a bad word. <laughs> Kapow! Just plowed him over from the back. That was cool. Hope I got it on, uh, on the old shot cam. That was fun. Yeah, by real close, I could have reached up and spat on the thing. It was right. It was <laughs> too close. It was just like, when they're too close, they're too close sometimes. Good point. Well, I pulled the uh, Lucky Duck out. The mallard spinning winger, and uh, I just shot a single that he loved it. Now I'm gonna see, hopefully, with the lesser of the motion, hopefully, the groups like it the twos, the threes, the fours. We got a four pack coming. Let's see if it makes a difference. That's what last year when I was pigeon hunting, Jordan and I, uh, we quickly found pull if we we're on a decent feed you don't need a lot of motion pull it out let the decoys do their job and they they respond a lot better uh it's probably gonna be like that this year too Ready? come on why are they not loving it i 
coming out, giving it a little look and turning around. I don't get it. Here we go, right here. Get ready, up top. Three, two, one, shoot him. I tagged him, he might go down. That low one that Fred's on. These dogs are breaking bigger than you know what. They're ha oh, there he goes. Boom! That's that one I hit. Oh, oh, there they come back. Get down. Three, two, one. Shoot them. Nice! Oh, no. Yeah, there. I thought they were both done. Nice! There we go, two birds down. We got a long one. Bear got that one. I'll take Fred. Come on, Fred, here. Heel. You guys need to stop breaking. Come on. Let's go. We got a long, long bird out here. It's not a snow goose, so Fred is not going to be able to see it as good as normal. This might be a difficult deal. Hit. Heel. Fred. Yeah, there we go. Good boy! Good dog! Let's go! Good! Heel! Right here! Heel! Set! Drop! Oh, he needs a good neck ringing. One thing I've been stressing, guys, is hunting ethics. New, it's just a new year. And uh, one thing we, as hunters, really, really, really need to focus on is uh, having good hunting ethics. And that means if you have a bird that you picked up like I just did, be sure to dispatch that bird immediately. Uh, if you have a tool to do that, or if you uh, just wring its neck, whichever, get it done, y'all. Oh, here we go. You're not shooting, you're filming? Bro, now, here they go. Three, two. Ooh. There they go. Three, two, one, shoot them. Oh, he about dropped. He might come there. back. Fred here! Oh, he's landing. Sit. I took my time on that bad boy. Good, Fred here. Good dog, let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, your turn. Fred here. Good. We got one coming. Good boy here. Set, drop. He just kept coming, dude. Was that sick or what? Well, we got, uh, we got eight birds in the bag. Not going too badly. Uh, Dogs are having fun. That's that's what's important too. Uh, good wind. Good wind is probably what 12, 15? Right upwards of 15. 15 mile an hour. Pretty chilly. I think we uh, the temperature is right at 40 degrees, 38 degrees. So it's been rather chilly. But I wanted to tell you guys, man, I'm telling you what, this hybrid right here from Fred Roll, uh, two and three quarter, 1275 feet feet per second ounce and an eighth eight shot high brass dude it slaps it'll plow them i'm not shooting very good so oh, i can't poor test how it's happening but yeah poofing a few birds off of this what are you uh what are you doing man i'm i'm stacked up pretty good right here <laughs> he's he goes yeah you know what bob you know Oh, we can just make two trips. I'm like, oh no, we got it. Look at the rig. She's full. Stack her right. Stack her tight. Whew. We're out of here. Good little two man. Honestly, uh, it was what I was hoping for. I knew it wouldn't be a crazy one, but how did we shoot? Ten? Ten, I think. Ten, ten right at ten. Ten birds. Dude, that's not bad. 
And you got to film a lot. For a little two for it was a good morning. Yeah. Productive morning. Awesome little two man. Those ones are fun. Small hunts. I've always said it and I always will. The small hunts are fun, which brings to mind uh, I've had a lot of questions still and I and I always want to touch on it here on the channel during the videos. I've had a lot of questions about this coming guide season and just talking about the smaller groups. We're actually running groups of six uh, normally, but if you want to book the whole lodge at 10 or 12, that's fine. But uh, just an opportunity to uh, lesser the size of the groups, give some uh, more enjoyment directly, you know, to the clients in a smaller hunt. They're just fun. Uh, next day. <laughs> yeah, I have horses here at the here at the house. Oh, they're going crazy. They don't like me again. Uh, I got family in town, and it's my sister. She uh she has Great Danes, and they're huge, and they're intimidating. <laughs> but check it out. Half of yesterday I spent cleaning this old beast it was absolutely filthy if y'all watched uh the shed hunting video where we found all the deer sheds a ton of them actually if you haven't seen it you got to go watch that video but my truck got like really really destroyed and the bad thing is is that it wasn't just normal mud it was like red clay so all of the muddy water that went all over the thing just caked to it and you had to like dude just get at it to get it off of there but uh awesome little pigeon hunt y'all had a lot of fun bradley and i um had both dogs out there just having fun fred uh he did really good uh didn't didn't break too many times i got it into him really quick uh it seems like whenever there's another dog he's extra excited to get out of that blind to get to that bird first so it was really good for him to uh honor uh bear and let bear go and he needed to sit and honor him and then go when he was told so uh, that was really good for Fred. Fred, a little update on Fred. A lot of y'all have been asking. Uh, Fred is feeling insanely good. I'm almost half tempted to say, and I'm not acting like I know everything here, but I feel like I took Fred in because uh, he was limping, right? Well, when I did that, he had been limping for a little while he hurt his rear leg by jumping off of the sherp y'all remember the sherp he jumped off the back clipped his thigh on a trailer and for like two months he limped i think he might have tore something and it was inflammated for a while now with the doctor going in and looking at his joints yes they probably are messed up but his joints really aren't giving him the issue i believe that it was an injury that gave him the initial limp we went in an x-ray he found out that the joint looked real oblong He's, he thought that that is what it was, which that will be an issue when Fred gets older, right? But right now, I don't think, I don't think the hip dysplasia in Fred is an issue at all because I took him, <clears throat> I took him shed hunting that day and he, gosh, yeah. I bet you he ran 20 miles up and down goalies through creeks, Everything, everything from swimming to running to not one limp. Yeah, he's a tired dog like any dog, but every hunt we've went on, whether it's water or field, he don't limp or anything. Like just when he's walking around the house now, that limp is actually gone and it's been gone for a while. So y'all have been asking to see the pigeons. I promise y'all down in the comment section that I would. So we're here, here they are. They're doing really well, man. They're just chilling like always. This is all they do. You keep them fed. You keep them watered. They live. They love it in here. I've had a lot of questions. Y'all asking, Bob, why do you have pigeons? Well, they're pets. Why do you have dogs? Because it's a pet. Do you? Ex does your dog need to be let go and go fend for itself? Like some people, let the pigeons go, let them live free. Yeah, let them out of this cage and guess what's gonna happen? Every one of them are gonna die because A, they, um, they can't find food or water because they're so used to being spoiled rotten. 
that's a huge issue because let me tell you they love to just go and land anywhere they'll go land anywhere and guess what's around here tons of hawks you let them go they're going to die of starvation food or water more dominantly just a hawk grabbing them for lunch so no i'm not going to let them go even if i tried to let them go they would literally land on top of here and not leave so they're pets uh check this out though we got some pigeon eggs oh yeah what's up girl how are you so hopefully with the warm weather uh them being a lot more comfortable i'm gonna get some better food i need to get some higher protein food but anyways hopefully we start having some good babies thank you all for being here i hope you enjoyed the first pigeon hunt of the summer you know how summer goes when it comes we just start hitting the pigeons and it's a lot of fun probably going to be doing a lot of uh solo hunts <clears throat> sorry a lot of solo hunts with just fred and i or me and bodie my boy or my it who knows i might be taking the wife just me and her so i'm really excited about that i hope you are too i am leaving right now for south dakota tonight leaving me and p diddy we're headed north for the last go at them snow geese uh, i told y'all it was my last hunt in kansas but not the last hunt of the season yet so thank y'all for being here subscribe if you haven't but we'll see you on the next one